All right. Today we're going to create a business card. Um, to get started, we're going to go to our Sequoia Union High School District Canvas account, go to your multimedia class, and you're going to see there's been a recent announcement. The announcement is called Business Card Starter File. Go ahead and click to open that announcement. And then go ahead and download the file that's attached. It's called business card design .idml. I'm going to go ahead and go to InDesign and open open up Adobe InDesign. And once it opens, I'm just going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to find that file that I just downloaded. Here it is, business card design. And it's going to open, and it might tell you that one or more fonts are not available, and that's fine. We can, um, we can find them shortly. So before we go any farther, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to search for some images that I want to create for my business card. So this file has a front, and if I go up here to the top corner to my pages, App, I can go ahead and switch between page one and page two. Page two right now is just a blank um, blank slate. I'm going to go back to page one by double clicking. And like I said before, I'm going to go to open up my Chrome browser, go to Google, go to images and I'm gonna search for a logo. So you can choose any logo of any company that you would like to do, be creative, try and come up with something that, um, so it'll be different than your neighbor. I'm gonna choose the seven up logo just for fun. I'm gonna go, before I start selecting, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to tools and I'm gonna choose a large icon. So I want it to be, I wanna make sure that it's not gonna be blurry on my final document or pixelated. So you can see I chose a, this is actually a pretty large file. I'm going to go to color and I'm going to make sure it's transparent. And that's going to make sure that um, the file uh, doesn't have like a white or gray or black background. I mean, it'll pop up nicely on my um, file. I'm going to download two different file, two different logos, one for the front of my card and one for the back of my card. So I like this one right here. This is going to be great for the back of my card. I'm going to right click, go to Save Image As, and I'm going to just go to my Q2 InDesign folder, and I'm going to say, I'm going to call this um, 7up logo back. I'm going to hit Save. And I like this one right here for the front of my card. I'm just going to right click, do the same thing, and I'm going to call it 7up logo front. All right. And since I've done that, now that I've done that, I'm going to come back to my business card and I'm ready to place my image on the front. So I'm going to go to file, place. I'm going to choose my, I'm going to go to um, my InDesign file. And I'm going to choose this one that I named for the front of my card. I'm going to select open. I'm going to go ahead and start right up here in the top left. And I'm going to place the image. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the text so that it fits. Um, now 7up is internationally owned by Pepsi Company. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to complete this. I'm going to have some fun with it.
I'm using this the phone number for Menlo Atherton High School. Um, but you can use any phone number that you want. There's no right or wrong. Just sort of uh, go ahead and alter the original document. You can use any, any information you want. And then we're going to come back and we're going to style the text in just a second. All right, if we want, we can always go to view screen mode and just kind of take a look at what this is going to look like when it's finished. So pretty simple um, front for right now, view, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to go to normal so I can see all the. So let's take a look at what the assignment requirements are. I'm going to scroll down and we placed our logo. Oops, sorry. Um, it says to replace uh, our placeholder text. We did that already. So we highlighted each one and we put in our information. The next part is to style our text. So it says, although the text is styled professionally, you can customize it e easily. Try setting your name in all caps and your job title in a different, in a different typeface. So it says select your name and click the all caps icon and increase the font size to eight. So that's easy. We've done that before. We're going to take our name. We're going to set it to from change it from size seven font to size eight. And we can click the all caps tool and it'll change it to all caps. It says select your job title um, and then highlight how Helvetica in the font menu and type in Minion Pro. So let's see, I'm going to highlight this. Highlight that, Minion Pro. And then it also says to make it bold, condensed, italic. So I'm going to change it to bold, condensed, italic. And I'm actually going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to change it to eight so there's some continuity. Make this all caps, highlight this, change it to Minion Pro, and then again, bold, condensed italic. Um, it says, if you want to, you can play around with the other text um, on your business card. It's totally up to you. And... Um, then we're ready to move on to the back of our document. So I'm going to click on my pages tool. I'm going to go to page two. And to change the color, I can just click here. And then I can choose any color um, that I'd like. I can also change my fill color and use my color picker. Um, to pick a color that's going to work well for me. So I'm going to change it to red for right now. And then I'm going to go to file. Let's go make sure that we're. Uh... So we filled, we filled it with red. Then we're going to go to file place. And we're going to set, it says that we want to center it in the, in the frame. So to get prepared to center it in the frame, let's do what we did last week. Let's go to view show rulers and we know that our document is um three and a half inches 
uh, wide. So I can go ahead and I can snap a guide right in the middle of three and a half, which would be one and three quarters. And I know that my document is two inches tall, which makes it easy. I can snap a guide right here at one inches, one inch tall. And now when I place my image, I'll place it right in the center of that. So I'm going to go to File, Place. And I'm going to go to the file I wanted for the back, which is right here, my 7up logo back. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to place my image. And just slide it one spot to the right so that it's perfectly centered. And then I'm looking at this, and I'm not a huge fan of the red background. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to double click to select my color picker. And I'm going to choose, let's see how that looks, that green. That looks like more like 7up to me anyways. And there we have it. We've got our front and our back. And I'll tell you the one thing I'm not happy with, I don't like the size of that, so I'm just going to actually delete it really quick and just replace the image. I'm going to start right up here. I'm just going to make it a bit larger. Too large. All right, technical difficulties. Let's try it one more time. I definitely want it to be go one inch high, one inch wide. There we go. So I've got the front of my card, nice, clear, um, easy to read. And then I've also got my second page. Right, or really like this would be the front of my card where it's just got like my logo and a nice clean background. When you're done, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna file save, or you can even save as. I like saving everything into my Q2 InDesign folder. I'm gonna name it my last name, underscore first name, underscore business card. And I'll hit save, so it saves in that folder. And then, just like the assignment says, when we're done, we're going to go to the file export. So file export. Adobe PDF print, it's got the right name, it's in the right place, I'll hit save, I'll keep it at high quality print, select export, select OK, and then we can quickly just check our folder, make sure that it uh, came out right. Something's not cooperating. Oh, here we go. And you can see I've got my my first page and my second page. And actually, I'm going to do one more thing really quickly because I just want to keep it as clean as possible. If I open up InDesign one more time and I go back to my first page, you can see this was a little bit close for me. So I can just go right in here. It doesn't look like it's going to be any lower. I can even I'm 
Let's play with this text box for a second. I just want to move it down and away from my logo. And let's just go ahead and save and let's export it one more time. Do you want to replace it? So you can see I just took a little extra time. to make sure that my document looked as good as it possibly could before I submitted it. And again, I think that looks better. It's uh, got a little bit more space between the logo and the name of our corporation. And then again, there's the front. So when I print it, it would just be this on the front and this on the back. And that's how I'd market myself and my business. Hopefully that helped. Um, enjoy. And um, let me know if you have any questions.